Stuart, a point to start a campaign. What, did, what was your take on that game? I think uh, a little bit of disappointment, Scott. I think there's, there's a bit of disappointment, just more for the fact that when you get your nose in front. Um, and I thought that we were relatively comfortable. I don't think Liam Kelly's had too many saves to make, especially in the first half. And then, obviously, Dundee playing at home. Uh, they've unveiled the, the championship flag today. Then you know that they're going to come at you at some point. I thought they were they were a threat down their right-hand side, um, which posed a bit of a problem for us. Um, we tried to rectify it. We tried to change it. And we probably could defend their goal better. There's no question in that. Um, but the other side of it is, is the overhead conditions, the weather, the doubt that was cast upon the game. Um, then I don't think there was any, any lack of effort from our group. I thought, in general, our organisation was decent. I thought that our energy levels were pretty good at this stage of the season. Um, and, I, and I thought that we, at times, carried a threat to get to the final third. Um, but I just feel that we could be more imaginative at times. I thought we could have um, just played off the cuff once or twice more just to, just to create a bigger threat to their back three and also their goalkeeper. So that bit needs improvement. That bit needs uh, a, a bit of work. Um, but in general, for us to come away with a point, and, and again, I'm not being glorious and a draw, um, I think it was a fair enough result, I have to be honest in saying that. I've seen Theo Baird during the week, he's only had two training sessions, you should quite a bit of faith by putting him in the starting lineup. is it fair to say he repaid that faith? Yeah, pro probably a couple of aspects on it, that we, we, we didn't have a great deal in the way of options for the way we want to play, Theo's only had two training sessions and I thought he'd done really well in the game, I did, I think there's heaps more to come from him, uh, both and how he holds the ball up and how he tries to spring and play in behind the, the opposition. Um, but the biggest thing for me was his composure and his finish. You know, that's, that, that's been a massive moment in the game for us today. It was a good break from us, lovely pass from Lennon. Uh, great quality for Stephen O'Donnell to, to flash it across the goal. And when the ball's skipping off the surface the way it did, um, then I think that just that soft feet to guide it into the target w was terrific. I'm not going to stand here and start telling people I told you so, but listen, it's the first step for him in his journey and his, in, in, in his pathway at Motherwell. Um, and I think he's got off to a real good start and uh, I think there's plenty more to come from him, I really do once we get to spend more time with him working individually, analysing his performance um, and spending those hours on the pitch coaching and trying to make him better, helping him facilitating him, becoming better um, then I think you'll see the what I think is the, the, the real version of him There's plenty of other options that weren't here today John Obika, Harry Payton just coming back for injuries but you also signed Mika Bireth this week so is that just quite encouraging that these options are now going to come towards the football pitch for us and give us a, another option up front? Yeah, of course. I think, um, especially in the, in the forward area, I thought Connor Wilkinson and uh, Theo struck up a, a decent partnership. Obviously, that's the first time that they've played together. They haven't set foot in a pitch together uh, as a partnership competitively. So um, that's always going to take a wee bit of time. Um, and you just think that Connor's slightly behind with his pre-season work as well. He come to us slightly later on, uh, as I mentioned, Theo with two sessions. So we would like that other couple of options. And as you rightly mentioned, Scott, we've got those couple of guys, one that's just been signed, John, who I don't think is too far away, you know, he kind of narrowly missed out getting on the pitch today, or, or, or being involved today, I should say, and Harry in the in the middle of the park, it gives us some real good options, so as a manager, you want your best options, you want to make sure that you've got as much to freshen things up with, we've got those five changes to make, you want to make them so that you can impact the game, and I certainly think those three guys you mentioned give us that opportunity, and hopefully we can get them back on the park as quick as possible. Do you feel as if there's a real togetherness at the club right now amongst players, staff and supporters? Yeah, it was it was something that I spoke at, uh, spoke about sorry at the, just just before we came out. I always I always like to speak to the players for a minute or so before we we set foot on the park to start the game. Um, and it's my it goes back to my fundamental. It goes back to my non-negotiables, if you like. The 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 only way that a club like Motherwell, in my opinion, uh, can be successful, can be competitive, is with a lot what we showed we we showed last season. Um, but it's a fresh start. It's a it's a change in some of the personnel. It's a new season, um, and that was my clearest message. And I think we've seen plenty of that I could see a togetherness not just with the staff and everybody sitting on the bench but the players on the park and we're going to need that and what we have to do is go and at times sprinkle it with that wee bit more quality and ensure we don't switch off in key moments of the game as well and um, that we get set better to defend the box because it's something we've been good at um, but no all in all I think that that togetherness as you as you mentioned is massive to us it's so important um, but I'm pretty happy with what I've seen today from the group that were on the pitch and the guys that come on as well. Thanks for your time Stuart. Sure.